Now, hopefully this is my last video on this subject for a while. But we got to explore and find out what Mr. Diaz is talking about. He's offering more and more promises. Well, people, what do you think? Think it's about time to move on or find out what exactly is going on in Daytona Beach, Florida. Coach Simmons, drop the intro real quick, man. said that plans are already underway to create an on-campus practice field and also they're putting three million dollars into the stadium locker rooms they're going to redo the entire stadium locker rooms hey, you so see you something wanna... you know you don't fucked up right no i said no i said i pulled into the garage <laughs> no, 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 no. uh, you know you don't fucked up right so yes mr theus I'm calling you Mr. Curry, that's your name. You're promising more stuff. You're promising is what got you in this situation to begin with. You're promising that they will spend $3 million on a locker room. Well, I don't think people know what 1.5 gets you. Well, the Florida facelift has been years in the making. The rebranding to the Jordan logo, that just happened recently. And now this. A brand new state-of-the-art locker room, adding some swag to the swamp. The new dressing room is dressed in the nines. I mean, you got new graphics, new carpet. The lockers look good. Lots of tech there as well. They even have recliners and video game systems. You know, anytime the players get bored, they want to just hit the sticks. It's there. Cost a cool $1.5 million. By the way. Yeah, so that's $1.5 gets you. $1.5 million gets you to the SEC. You're committing... $3 million to a locker room. I understand. I get it, people. Sometimes you want to hear a bigger number. It sounds more impressive. Oh, man, they're putting in $3 million into the stadium. But I think we overlook certain things, people. And, and this is not me throwing shots at Batum Cookman. This is not me down in HBCU, because trust me, I'm an HBCU grad. I I know how this goes. But I'm going to tell you something. There is a symptom going on with these quote-unquote big-name coaches. Now, now, I will give Eddie George and Hugh Jackson credit. They have done miraculous jobs in keeping expectations at a at an adequate level. But sometimes you get a coach in, or in this case, an AD, who likes to overpromise. And the analogy that, that I used earlier on Twitter, I gotta, I gotta say it now, man. It, it, it's like that, that dad be dad. It says, oh, we are taking you to Disneyland. We are taking you to Six Flags. We are doing this. We are doing that. When it's your mama that paid for the tickets, and he just driving. This is what's going on with the cooking. Everybody's making promises, but no one is really in charge. Reggie Theus, you are committing $3 million. You're saying $3 million that they are going to pay. Reason why the word they is so important is because you ain't paying nothing, man. You don't own that stadium. And for what we found out online, I find it very curious that the day you're talking about would want to even invest more money into that stadium. Because from what we heard, I don't think they want to be involved with you, Opportun Cookman, anymore or the city of Daytona anymore. Matter of fact, 
enough of me telling you, because people are going to say, well, what's your proof? Where, where did you find this at? I want to troll you on your, on your video. Play the clip. Let some boys know. It's a war, and we need allies. That's Mike Panaggio on the telephone, founder of DME Holdings and DME Sports Academy. DME took over Daytona Beach Municipal Stadium, renaming it Daytona Stadium two years ago, and poured money into improvements. But Panaggio says the venture has not paid off, that DME needs partners. It doesn't make sense that DME is, is taking on the responsibilities that it's taking on, the liabilities that it's taking on. And, you know, losing a tremendous amount of money per year. Panaggio says he did not expect to make a lot of money when he signed a 30-year lease with the city, but he says he can no longer afford to keep losing money here, about 500000 each year. The stadium is home field for Seabreeze and Mainland High School's football, along with Bethune-Cookman University. Panaggio says DME doesn't control the gate or parking and says game attendance has been weak at best, unprofitable alliances. There are some inherent problems with some of the contracts that we inherited. Yeah. That's the guy that owns the stadium. And let's not forget a couple years ago, they were very, very close in the tearing down they don't own the stadium. They used the property to build a new sports complex that did not include housing but doing cooking football. So when you say they are going to invest three million dollars into a stadium for a locker room. It's only going to be used by Bethune Cookman and the high school players. I think you need to let people know exactly what you're talking about. At the very least, let them know what you're talking about. Because this is why we're in the situation we're in right now. Millions of dollars being donated to the school but no one appears to be in charge. You still have an interim president. You have an AD and a basketball coach. And no football coach. No more promises, man. We're going to judge Bethune Cookman this year on what actually gets done. Coach Simmons, man. Have a blessed day. I'm out.